Hello, welcome to the Sunday chat for the 15th of August 2021. Here am I back in the studio doing another of these. Thank you so much for watching. It's very nice to be with you again. This is my chance, as I always say, to have a little chit-chat with the lovely audience and bring you up to speed with all the things that are going on in the world of the Bald Explorer. Absolutely. Um, I had a, an interesting comment on a, a video. It actually wasn't the Sunday chat video. It was a different video that somebody made a, a comment and said, I, I don't really enjoy the Sunday chat. And I thought, well, that's fine. You don't have to watch it, you know. <laughs> Nobody's forcing you. It, it is funny what people say. Anyway, uh, I have, as ever, another list of uh, bits and bobs to have a chimwag with you. And uh, let's get straight into it, shall we? First of all, I know some of you have been enjoying the van conversion and I know that some of you perhaps haven't quite been enjoying it so much. In fact, I did have, a, again, another comment from somebody saying uh, on the most recent one in which Ricky was helping me put a panel back that I had inadvertently pulled off. Well, I had pulled it off deliberately to see how it went on, then realised I couldn't get it back and Ricky had come to help me. And the comment was pathetic video this channel started out as a as a channel on nice pleasant walks and now it's deteriorated to this rubbish or words to that effect anyway and i'm very pleased that a couple of people came to my defense and said well you know some people do like the van videos and some people don't there is uh, no choice and of course i'd put a comment on there just to say simply well thanks for being a, a paid up patron which of course they weren't but uh, m my point simply being that it's very easy to criticize people when you're getting something for free and it's it it you know what right have you got really i, I don't care anymore i have grown a thick skin you'd be pleased to know and actually it amuses me when I get these funny comments. Some of them I think, well, if they're a bit too rude, I will delete them, of course, because I don't want to upset anybody else. But all I'm doing is trying to entertain, and that's really the remit. If you're not entertained, I'd suggest watching something else. It's as simple as that. If, if people continue to watch and they still don't like it, that's not my fault. There's plenty of YouTube videos to go and have a look at, so it does make me laugh. So now I'm just, uh, I'm finding it uh, very amusing. Anyway, the point being that the van conversion is pretty much there now. I'm pretty much happy with all the bits and pieces that have been on. Um, we're coming to the end of this summer fairly quickly, aren't we? Or we're in the middle of it, I suppose. And the summer will come to an end fairly soon. So I probably won't be actually this year doing a great deal of travelling around in the van overnight and all of that. Plus the fact it seems that the UK is chock-a-block with people doing this, which is a bit of a shame, really. Um, although, of course, I... You know, it's it's the same old thing about walking on the downs. I've, I was talking to uh, Ricky about this. It's so lovely when you go walking on the downs and you go, there's nobody here. It's, it's lovely. If only more people would get out and exercise. And of course, then if more people did get out and exercise, as they have done over the last year and a half during this COVID pandemic, um, you suddenly think, oh, I wish more people would stay inside and not come out and ruin the landscape for me. It's uh, the hypocrisy of it, which is difficult to deal with. But anyway, that's what it is. Um, so the van conversion is pretty much there. So there probably won't be too much more of those other than getting out in the van to different places. So even if I don't stay overnight very often in it, it will be a bit of a day um, van, uh, means longer days. And that's a good thing, because then I can go a bit further afield, if not very far afield, if you see what I mean. Anyway, never mind all that. Uh, recently, we've managed to get out. I say we, I mean me, managed to get out and do some of the walks. The weather has just been a bit weird, you know. So even though some people may say, well, what's happened to the channel? Because it used to be a lot of walks. This year's summer has not been the most easiest thing for video making with wind and just all that rain that we've had but it does seem to be settling down so there will be some more walks and I'm keen to get back onto the Sussex footpaths as well as other footpaths so hopefully you will see more of that so that's uh, all coming up now the week coming I'm having a week off um, so I'm actually going to put out uh, some reruns from early 
um, Bald Explorer episodes uh, from probably four years ago when I first got started. I will make the thumbnail clear that these are reruns. It's just that I'm instead of... I mean, I was going to sort of take a complete week off, but you know me, I, I, I love what I do too much. I can't completely take time off. So I will be doing things, but it'll be sort of behind the scenes so that at the end of the week, I'm hoping that I've got one or two longer format ones to put out and to try. Um, I'm keen to experiment with the channel, having done the, uh, the dailies for four years and just tweaking a few things and trying a few things out, um, having gained the experience of what I've learned. So th you will see some stuff. And if you are very long-term viewers, you may have seen these videos. That's true. But I'm aware that I've collected from those early days when I had about three to 500 people. Um, we've now got 21,000 people. So there's going to be a lot of videos that people haven't actually seen because people rarely go back into the back catalogue. So I thought just for a week, it would be interesting to reload them up and see how they go. See how they run. Um, so we'll see. So that's a bit of a test just to, to see if that's it. People may like that. There'll all be walks. So be pleased about that front. And in the meantime, I'll be milling about doing stuff um, and working on hopefully some longer formats. You'll be able to see the results of it anyway at the end of the week if it pays off, which I am sure it will. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about really is sometimes I get accused of, well, you know, this is turning into a lifestyle video instead of what possibly was deemed to be an educational documentary series. And I suppose in a way, depending on which videos that you've been recommended by YouTube or how you've discovered me, that could be true, that you're seeing different bits and you think, oh, hang on, it's, it's all changed. But life is a progression. We do develop and change our ideas and, and move about. And I have noticed that overall, the lifestyle videos gain more traction. People watch tend to watch videos because they like the individuals in the video they like the people and perhaps they like the lifestyle or the theme as opposed to you know if you're looking for a, a new blade for your flymo lawnmower you may only watch one video from that guy's thing to work out how to put the blade on which i did uh, on a video when i was up in um, Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury depending on how you want to um, pronounce it um, with my friend Harriet she had a lawnmower and she had had a new blade she had no idea how to fix it so I went on YouTube we had a look went to some channel he showed us brilliant put it on it worked superb but I've never been back to his channel never watched another of his how to put oil in your flymo lawnmower how to make the lead a bit long you know I've not wanted to do that uh, even though he was probably a very nice bloke. So I feel that the lifestyle channels is where you go, I like this person or that couple, um, whatever it may be, or that family, I will watch more. And because this is my job, I'm constantly aware of trying to make what works for the larger audience, uh, because obviously I, I do have to pay the bills at the end of the month. Um, so... If you feel that I'm moving into areas that are not what you want to watch, all I can say is there's plenty of other videos on, on um, YouTube. There's loads of people doing walks at the moment. There's a lot of people doing it. So don't feel that you, you know, you get a bit curmudgeonly with me if I'm doing a bit more lifestyle stuff. The chances are I, I will drift a bit. So there you go. What can I say? Um... And the Sussex Border Walk, though, haven't done that for a while. I know, very remiss of me. Got diverted with the van and a few other things. Um, but it will, it will come back. I'm very keen to do it. But I'm, the thing is, I'm in no rush. You might be in a rush, but I'm in no rush to do that. Um, I'm still working on how I want to adapt it now to, the, to a new format, which I know will upset some people because they loved it how it was done before. But ultimately, 
it is down to me and I need to work it so it works the best way for me to continue to do it. Otherwise, if it becomes too problematic, then I, you know, I'll just get bored and not do it at all. And that's no good for anybody. Uh, so that was that. The my stories. These are the ones where I've been telling you my life story, which, of course, has nothing to do with heritage, landscape and nature other than my heritage, I suppose. This has got me through a bit of lockdown. Uh, it's got th a lot of others through lockdown. And it's also been a great wet weather video because I do the dailies, because I try to get out on a daily basis when the weather is a bit inclement and a bit nasty, you know, and I think, oh, what can I do? I'd been just relying on my backstory, as it were, my history and bringing that to you. Well, I'm almost up to date with that, so they're going to come to an end. That's not to say that my stories come to an end. At least I jolly well hope not. Um, hopefully there's another 30-odd years, if not more, thank you very much, um, of story. But you'll see that unfold on the YouTube channel. So the historical backstory of my life coming to an end, and I will try and find something else to fill in on those wet weather days. Um, and uh, winter will be with us soon and I'm thinking about that and I, I mentioned in the last Sunday chat that during the winter of course it is very difficult to get out and continue to do the walking videos because the weather can be inclement and nasty. We've not had the greatest of summers this year although people tell me that it's supposed to have been one of the hottest on record. I can't really believe that but hey ho whatever. Um, that we may have a grim winter, who knows? And so videoing may be a bit tricky, which is where the life story stuff may come into its own. But I may reduce in the winter the amount of daily videos that I do. So all of that is up in the air at the moment. Um, I'm keen to try these longer format ones where I'm away for more than a day or I'm working on it over a couple of days and I may stay in the van one night or not uh, or I may return somewhere and, and make a longer format than the dailies. Um, but don't worry, I'm not going to give up completely on the dailies. I know it, the last couple of months I've been talking about this and it all sounds a bit vague and unorganised. I appreciate that. The one thing I don't want to do is to make any big announcements and then not follow through. So all I'm saying is at the moment, I'm just thinking about all these different possibilities. And please just keep up with the channel and, and you'll see what unfolds. I think the biggest mistake is to say, right, from now on, I'm doing this. And then decide, oh, do you know what? Actually, I don't want to do that anymore. Um, then you, you sort of set yourself up for failure. So this coming week will be reruns, um, see how they go. And then we're back to the, the dailies and bits and bobs, uh, a couple of long formats coming in. Um, it just gives me a bit of breathing space because I feel that on some of the projects, I can't really get going unless I've got a few days where I don't have to think about, well, what's the daily video for today, if you see what I mean. So, um, yeah, just experimenting. Hope that's OK. If it's not, sorry. Uh, anyway, there we go. That's uh, that's my video for today. I hope you have a lovely Sunday, whatever it is you're up to. Enjoy yourself. Uh, don't forget that we have another Bold Explorer walk coming up on the 21st of August. This is the Pulbra uh, to Pulbra Brooks or through Pulbra Brooks down to the RSPB. If you're interested, do check out the Bald Explorer Facebook page. There is uh, both in the Bald Explorer Facebook walking group and the Bald Explorer group. Sorry, it's complicated. Two groups on the Bald Explorer. Uh, both have notifications of it in the announcements. So uh, do check that out. There's an events thing. But basically, um, it, as you know, it's the high street in Paulborough, the car park in the High Street in Paulborough in West Sussex, uh, arriving 10.30 for an 11 o'clock start. It's a, a mile and a half to the RSPB. It's about a mile and a half back, so three miles in total. Bring a packed lunch because we aim to have a picnic. If it's teeming with rain, we'll cancel it. But if it's just overcast and a bit muggy, we'll try and carry on. Um, hopefully it won't be. But you never can tell with this weather. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care. Look after yourself. Bye for now.